<laughs> Yo, what up? It's Air Moses. Gang, this is a reaction to House Phone Speaks on how ridiculous Fresh and Fit are. Now, you have to excuse me. My son was over here touching stuff. So the quality and the things, some things might be off, but uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this video and uh, if I need to do more adjustments to my quality. He's two years old, his birthday is coming up, he's gonna be turning two, um, but let's get into this one. Let me turn it back. I used the first 10 seconds for a test, but let's get into it. Shout out to House Phone, man. Shout out to Blazzy and shout out to YG right here. Okay, the way that you right. feel right now is like, that's how I used to feel about Fresh and Fit. Like, I'm just like, bro, I don't know y'all. Them niggas. niggas still suck, bro. No, no, they yeah. definitely suck, but like. But you I, sure you kick it with them? You wouldn't mind it? You know what I'm nah, saying? It's no, like, well, look, hell look, look. Nah. No, look, 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 hear me out. out. Hear me out. I was in Miami. But watching on YouTube is a different experience. It's out, hard to watch. Excuse me. My, like, I had really no, like, prior knowledge of them like that until I was in Miami. I was linking up with Eliza, who oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure was there. Story. And like they were just immediately like, on some like oh who they were immediately on some like oh like who's at the door like on some like scare shit and it was just like it was me it was me and my nigga T break. But you gotta understand they say a lot of controversial things number one uh, to women which you definitely don't do unless you're me and then people have to drop on them this is the a crib that is a permanent spot it's not temporary so. Hundreds of people have this address. They've been doing this for a couple of years now, and you should. Well, let him. I'm gonna let him finish. Shout out to T Braze. Me and T Braze. Oh, fuck. Me and T Braze w went and like yeah, like it was just the energy was just weird from the beginning. But then like once I really start seeing their content and shit, and just like mm -hmm. I was like, bro, these niggas. First of all, these niggas is not living like that. Like they just not like they acting like they just Mister bitches. And I'm like, and they they trying to teach other niggas how to talk to girls when like. Bro, their whole Emmy, their whole. That's, so why don't look, peep this? I'm not even. I love House Phone. I'm not spending uh, three hundred dollars on some some uh, some Air Force Ones that have dice on the side. Which I, if I could, I would, but I probably wouldn't. But at the end of the day, shout out to uh, AD in the community. If you have such a problem with what they do, why don't you do it in the style? Why don't you do it better? Why don't you do what they do? You don't even have to pay the females. You're in L.A. L.A. is way bigger than Miami. L.A. is way bigger than every city in America, with the exception of New York City. You could do it, too. That, that shit's all a facade. Their whole, thing, their, their, their whole thing is like, how old, I, are, you? How old I, are you? Oh, 26? You don't have a baby? Oh, because your pussy sucks. You, just so you yeah, know, you, you, like, you're 26 don't have a baby. Your pussy fucking like, sucks. And it's, like, pussy sucks. Yeah. and it's like, and it's, it's a pretty good impression. I like it. I don't know what this dude is, but I like so it. So you, you do my hundred girls. And like, <laughs> and you make sense of Flacco with that. No, 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 no. I did that first. I did. Flacco's mixing him with that. Yeah, Flacco. Nah, but yeah, honestly, yeah. though, on some real shit, it's like, it's one of those things where I is did. Pot Lord? That's not Pot Lord. That can't be used to tap in sometimes because it was so stupid and it was so like like it just felt scripted and just weird and like yeah, the way they were talking to the bitches and like yeah like they were just doing too much to be cool and how are you gonna say the way they were talking to the, i don't like how they was talking to the bit that don't even go together bro just do your own version just do your own version it's like y'all niggas are not cool. Yeah, they, bro. Like, how are y'all selling niggas crazy. courses on how to talk to girls? Like, y'all are the last niggas, niggas teaching niggas to be losers. Yeah, like it, that's the <laughs> that's the blind leading the blind. Oh God, ass, bro. bro. The thing is, I believe that is, I know it's the blind leading the blind because I watched Fresh and Fit for a very long time. Right, I'm not saying that they're totally ignorant. I'm not saying that, but these guys are self-admitted tricks and it's nothing wrong shout out to all the tricks it's nothing wrong with being a trick but if you actually and i do have mickey mouse in my search because my son was over here but uh if you're going on sugar baby websites and things like that and you're actually oh we don't have a we don't have enough time to be able to socialize with women because it will cost us thousands of dollars compared to the thousands of dollars that we're going to be able to make with the idle time that we have Bro, if you had the amount of clout, and if you if you uh, 
maneuvered with your image a certain way, then you wouldn't have to pay to be able to get certain things done. You know, it just is what it is. I have a very good friend of mine, and I'm going to get back to this clip because I know it's only four minutes. It's probably already five minutes. I have a very good friend that said he wanted to get into podcasting to find him a wife or to find him a, 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 a long-term partner, a long-term LTR, a long-term relationship. And I was telling him, bro, like the content is going to be good for a minute, but you're going to fall off at some point. You know what I'm saying? When you get to a certain point, you're not going to want to do this, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, of course these guys at some point want to find a long-term relationship or at least somebody that they can, well, we'll just leave it at that. It doesn't have to be romantic. We don't have to call her a wife. We don't have to give her a title at all. But somebody that they can have consistent unprotectedness with and not have to worry about certain things and cater to this woman's needs physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. That's what every man wants at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That's no lie. All right? Anybody who tells you otherwise, they have deep emotional problems or they're capping. Right? So I will have to say this. Let's listen to the end of the content. It's like if you could sell, if you could put a wig on a pig, would you? I, you could sell salt to a snail too. But what I'm trying to say is like, would you sell some bullshit and like charge a premium if you can? But then again, you gotta have integrity. Yeah, you, know you gotta. It, it, it's a hard life it, to live. It has to be a like, balance. It bro, gotta be a balance. You, like, you want? I want a wife eventually. But you know have what you ever seen like, any of these shows, bro? Like they're just literally yeah. out of pocket. It, I yeah, I haven't watched it to prevent hate watching. Bro, I'm trying to be. If you watch it, you ain't trying to be a conscious preventer of hate watching because that's content where it's like, oh, I don't even want to watch this. This, this yeah, is not. No. This, this is almost like uh, mind yeah. numbing. You feel they'd me? They be like, even like on some real shit. They be like, do you have like a BBL? Oh, no, you're gonna be a ratchet ass bitch for the rest of your life. No, I'm, <laughs> you're like nigga. No, what? I, I've seen <laughs> clips. And like when when they hit their first wave in like 2021, or they probably hit it before that, but like you know when they were like when they were peaking in 2022, I, I watched a couple of live streams and like once you watch one, it's like you know what chess moves he's gonna play for the next one, the yeah. following one, the third one. It's like he did put. I mean, if he puts everybody on the game, right? It's like oh, you know what? Maybe maybe in 30, it is a little difficult for a, a woman to find love rather than a 21 year old. You know, yeah. like maybe st statistically they're right, but you're watching them because they put you onto that game and then you realize nothing falls through after yeah, that like, yeah. like what's the next revelation you're going to provide us because like mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't it. know what gives after that and honestly you got to have an open mind you can't judge yeah. women as like you all the same everything. the whole thing is the whole point just to interject one more time we only have 30 more seconds of this video not trying to defend not trying to defend the actual platform of Fresh and Fit but just saying we could say the same thing about cat. We could say the same thing about most big YouTubers that have um, one specific agenda. They come on there and they debate women about intersexual relationships. The thing is, there's one theme, but because specific people have specific messages and they're chaotic they're gonna come up with all these different rainbow they're gonna come up with a plethora of of different angles they're gonna come up with different talking points and <clears throat> it's going to you're you're debating logic with facts which is not even a debate literally it's not even that's not what a debate is you're expressing your opinion towards statistics logic and something that can't that clearly cannot be debated but these women have so much confidence and so much uh, i don't even want to say because shout out to the ladies but if you go on fresh and fit and you do the studies and you do the research and you don't conform to what they're saying and you think that your opinions and your feelings are going to trump facts and statistics that that's you just you you were 
you came on there to lose, which is really sad, and that's what they do. Now, a lot of pe- a lot of women come up there for clout, which is fine, but you can't get mad at these dudes. I mean, the the delivery and whatever they have to offer, and how they have to offer it. Sometimes I agree with it. Most of the times I don't. But at the end of the day, we do have to understand this is a this is a platform for debating and discussing opinions versus facts. And when these ladies that go, all of them, are, most of them are not ladies. When they go up there with a certain presentation, it's going to go left. It's going to go left. If all the women came up there and they all conformed and they all agreed, it would be boring and we wouldn't know who Fresh and Fit was. The only way that it would be entertaining is if people made reactions to them and they clowned the ladies. Like they, they, it, I don't want to say it's genius because it's not, but we're talking about them for a reason. You can't just be black and white like that. Like, it, like it you gotta like. There's cl- there's clear yellow and red signs. You know, like fact. no baby mamas. I feel like that's like a rule. I just like. I mean, yeah. like I'm I not. Mean, for I'm you, not dealing with and, no baby mama. And look, and like that's like and like that's the thing is that everybody has their own set of rules and own set of boundaries, and like that's okay for whatever you want it to so be. So you would play stepfather? I'm not even saying that I would or that I wouldn't, gang. I'm saying I'm not gonna you I would like that I wouldn't up? be mad. No, I'm saying I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad if the if the homie was on that if he fucked with the girl and fucked with the kid and like they had a family unit, then go crazy. You know what? Eventually I'd be like, um hey, how- Okay, well that was the end. But um again, I'm not trying to defend fresh and fit. I'm not trying to uh I get where they're coming from because they are who they are and they don't understand the dynamic because they haven't they they have a biased opinion because they're more unstudied when it comes to the content and when it comes to the source of information where they draw their energy from fresh and fit the Donovan Sharps the Simple the Peas the O'Shea Du Jacksons the Rolo Tomasi's, the MLDs, the Doctor, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Steph is cold. Of course, they don't know the content. They don't understand certain types of uh, speaking points. So I can't hold them to a certain standard. But I understand why they think that content is disgusting, is nasty, and it doesn't make sense to them. So shout out to House Phone, shout out to Blazzy. I believe that was Podlor. Uh If it wasn't, then shout out to him, uh, YG. Uh, it is what it is, and not what it is. Now make sure you like this video, man. Shout out to the ladies. You know what I'm saying? That's watching this content, man. Most of y'all rock with me, and I rock with y'all, man. It's Sam Moses. I'm the band. You're the band. We're the band together, man. Ladies and the brethren, breathing in peace, gang.